Have you ever forgotten an important password and felt completely stuck? It can be incredibly frustrating, especially when you need access to your database. If that's you, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle how to recover your MySQL password on Ubuntu 16.204. I totally understand how annoying it is to forget a password, especially when you've tried multiple commands and nothing seems to work. You're not alone in this struggle. Many users face similar issues. Here's the specific situation we're addressing. One user recently mentioned that they forgot their MySQL password and that the grant tables command isn't working in their terminal. Sound familiar? If so, let's dive into this together and find a solution. So what could be causing this issue? When you forget your MySQL password, it can feel like you're locked out of your own data. But don't worry, there are ways to reset it. We'll break it down step by step. And stick around. I have a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid this situation in the future. To begin recovering the MySQL password, the user needs to stop the MySQL service. This can be done by running a specific command in the terminal. Next, the user should start MySQL in safe mode. This allows access to the database without requiring a password. The command for this is also run in the terminal. Once MySQL is running in safe mode, the user needs to log into the MySQL shell. This can be done by typing a simple command. Now, the user can reset the password. They should execute a command to update the user table with a new password. Finally, the user should exit the MySQL shell and restart the MySQL service to apply the changes. This will allow them to log in with the new password. Fun fact, the first version of MySQL was released in 1995 and it has come a long way since then. Just like us, it has evolved to meet the needs of its users. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user involves a few key steps. First, create a directory for MySQL to run properly. Then, change the ownership of that directory to the MySQL user. Finally, kill the MySQL process using the PID file. Let's take a look at another answer from another user. An alternative solution provided by another user involves several steps to recover your MySQL password. First, stop the database server using the command sudo systemcdl stop mysql. Next, restart the server without permission checking by running sudo mysqld safe skip grant tables skip networking n. Then, connect to the database as the root user with mysql u root. After that, change the root password by executing flush privileges, followed by alter user root at localhost identified by new password. Finally, restart the database server normally with sudo kill cat flash var run mysql.pid and sudo systemctl start mysql. You can now log in using the new password. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach to recover your MySQL password involves several steps. First, stop the MySQL service using the command sudo systemctl stop mysql. Next, edit the MySQL systemd configuration file to start the server without permission checking. Use the command sudo systemctl edit mysql and add three lines to the file. After that, reload the systemd configuration with sudo systemctl daemon reload and then start the MySQL service again using sudo systemctl start mysql. Now connect to the MySQL server as the root user without a password using sudo mysql u root. Then run the commands to flush privileges and change the root password. Finally, revert the modified systemd configuration with sudo systemctl revert mysql. And that's it, you're done. Here's the crucial tip I promised. Always keep a secure record of your passwords. Consider using a password manager to avoid these situations in the future. And there you have it. You should now be able to access your MySQL database with your new password. Remember, keeping track of your passwords is essential. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our upcoming videos.